Well, good evening, everyone. I'm uh, William Brantley from the North Jackson, Tennessee area, uh, near Westtown Commons uh, Shopping Center at uh, University Village Apartments on Walker Road, about a mile north of Union University. Uh, getting ready, ready to share with you today's climate summary and give you a forecast for the next few days momentarily. Turned out to be a whew, nice warm day today, didn't it, my friends? Whew, got a little on the hot side. Uh, we'll have a little bit of a warm one tomorrow, but not quite as warm uh, thanks to the solar eclipse that'll be uh, taking place right around 1.23 p.m. or so. So that's going to hold the temperatures down some tomorrow. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed today's summer-like weather. Definitely was like it. <laughs> no doubt about that. Alrighty. Let me move on into the climate data for you. Uh, as of 4 p.m., I'm doing it a little early tonight because I have uh, church uh, tonight and in a little bit. Probably have to leave in a little over half an hour from now. So as of 4 p.m. here in uh, North Jackson, the skies were partly cloudy. The temperature was 95 degrees. The uh, heat index, or felt like temperature, was 101 degrees in the shade. The dew point was 72 degrees. The relative humidity was 54 percent. The wind was calm and the barometric pressure was 30.03 inches of mercury. Now today's low temperature was 70 degrees. Today's high was 98 degrees. The highest heat index by the way reached 105 degrees today at 12 and 1 p.m. in the shade, or about 115 degrees in the sun with no wind blowing. Of course, no rain has fell here in uh, Jackson today or in Madison County. We have had some southwest of us around the Bolivar, Tennessee area and down in Memphis, but uh, those showers are dissipating now and most of the showers that, had, that did form were down in Mississippi and over in Arkansas. But even they are dissipating now. And you'll see that momentarily when I show you the radar in just a little bit. Alrighty, uh, the lowest relative humidity... The, 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 the. <laughs> Leave it to me to goof up somewhere along the line. Uh, lowest humidity, I'll put it that way, was 52% today at uh, 12 and 2 p.m. Gotta have a little fun sometimes, don't you? And the highest uh, humidity would be 100% at uh, 12 through 6 a.m. Uh, today's lowest barometric pressure would be 30.00 inches, and that was at uh, 12 a.m. through 5 a.m. this morning. The highest pressure would be 30.09, and that occurred at uh, 11 a.m. Today's highest wind gust at the Jackson, Tennessee airport was 10 miles per hour out of the east at uh, 12.46 p.m. <clears throat> the sun will be setting tonight at 7.38 p.m. be rising tomorrow morning at 6.19 a.m. The moon will be setting tonight at 7.01 p.m. and uh, rising tomorrow morning at 6.04 a.m. No records were broken today, but the records for August the 20th. The hottest high would be 105 degrees, and that occurred in 2005, about uh, 11 years ago, 12 years ago by now, I think. Alrighty, uh, the coolest high would be 73 degrees in 1956. The warmest low would be 76 degrees and that occurred in 2002, 2005, and 2007. The coldest low would be 56 degrees in 1953 and today's rainfall record would be 1.60 and that occurred in 2004. Alrighty, uh, I'll go ahead and wind down a couple of days or so forecast uh, with you. Then I'll show you in the charts and then I'll be over with for tonight. It looks like, at least for here in Madison County, it's going to be generally 
partly cloudy to mostly cloudy at worst, but generally mostly fair though. Once the sun goes down, the skies will sort of clear up again. Uh, they will continue into tomorrow. The skies will become very cloudy though, probably after sunrise tomorrow. However, no, 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 I'm giving you a long day here, I'm sorry. It will continue to be mostly fair tomorrow. <laughs> I'm thinking about Tuesday already. We've got to get through Monday first. Monday should be mostly fair skies continued with a low near 70, about like we had this morning. A high tomorrow about 93. It will be cooler thanks to that lunar uh, uh, solar eclipse tomorrow that will be happening here in Jackson right around 1.23 p.m. Uh, the total eclipse will at least and that will bring the temperatures down a little bit but it will warm back up once the sun comes back out about two hours later roughly. Alright, that's why I probably won't get as warm tomorrow, 93 opposed to today's 98. Uh, the wind will be out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour tomorrow and the full moon phase will be 100% complete tomorrow as well. So we're getting two episodes from the moon, <laughs> a uh, solar eclipse, shadow from the moon, and the full and the new moon is complete tomorrow. So hey, way to go, moon! <laughs> You're doing a, doing a good job, affecting us in two different ways on the 21st of August. On into Tuesday, it looks like now it's going to become very cloudy, probably after sunrise on Tuesday. And then by Tuesday afternoon, we have about a 40% chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms. And that increases to about an 80% chance by Tuesday night, roughly around 6 p.m. on. With a low temperature near 73 degrees and a high of about 93 degrees with west winds at 10 to 20. And on Wednesday, very cloudy conditions continue with another 60% chance of additional showers and thunderstorms until Wednesday night. Then the skies should become fair once again with the low near 72 and a high of 82. Now, yeah, a high of only 82 compared to today's 98. That's a nice little drop there. We'll have north winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour on Wednesday. And looks like for Thursday and Friday, it uh, looks like mostly fair skies Thursday with a low near 61. It's going to get on down there a little bit with a high of about 84 where northeast winds are 10 to 20. Friday, fair skies continue with a low near 59 degrees. Whoa, it's going to be nice and cool. A high of about 86 with northeast winds at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. Now, if you'd like to have the complete nine day forecast, which will take you down through Tuesday week, the 29th of August. You can go to my forecast website at southjacksonweather.wordpress.com and read it there if you'd like to. All right, I'm going to move on to tonight's uh, surface mount features, courtesy of uh, Weather Underground. Uh, here we go. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it around for you so you can see it as well. Look at the camera, that is. <laughs> uh, as you can see, tonight's systems uh, has a high pressure over, I guess, Chattanooga, Tennessee, roughly, or just north of there. Over East Tennessee, anyways. Uh, that's taking care of our weather tonight real good. There's a frontal system to our east all along the coastline and there's a frontal system that's trying to break up to our north stretching from the low from way up there near the west side of Hudson Bay down to Minnesota there on to low in Wyoming and then that stretches on over to a California coastline. My goodness, now that's a long stretch right there, isn't it? My goodness. And then there's a weaker cold front with this low in northwest Kansas with a weak trough or weak low pressure, a weak cold front weather stretching northeast and southwest of it, two high pressures west of that. And there you see actually uh, <laughs> three low pressures with the weak trough connecting those out west also. My goodness, all the fronts on the system tonight. 
still loading. And it just gives you a, a peek of the whole country in there. Here in West Tennessee, thank goodness we have a high pressure system taking care of us. A long way. And that takes care of the service maps. Let's move on to the local radar. Uh, thank you, uh, AccuWeather. I showed this one a moment ago on my Facebook Live report. Uh, there, there are some showers around us, but uh, they're not all that big, and they're already dissipated. It was a pretty good, a pretty good size one down there near Bolivar. It's gone now, and there was some down there in the, right around the Memphis area. They're gone now, and some right along the northern Mississippi. They'd be probably gone before too long. Uh, down near Tupelo, Mississippi. And down near Clarksdale, Mississippi, southwest of there. And a few over in Arkansas. They're not really moving a whole lot. They're kind of just staying stationary. That one was a big one up there north of Dexter, but it's even dying down now as it approaches Cape Girardeau, Missouri. And it's in a dying stage even up there. For here, right here in Jackson, we're in pretty good shape so far. <laughs> I think we probably will be until Tuesday afternoon, especially Tuesday night around 6 o'clock is when it's scheduled to move in here in Jackson. All right, let's move on to the Tennessee radar and satellite combo. Uh, as you can see, Tennessee is... Not that bad of shape, really. Not that many clowns. Uh, there's some moving into West Tennessee now. Uh, I guess it looks like we're going to go cloudy for a few hours. Uh, I'd say they'll probably clear up not long after sunset, though. Maybe from now to around 9, 10 o'clock the latest, we may actually be mostly cloudy here in Jackson. But then it should clear up before midnight and be fair for the rest of the night here. As you see where well, some of the scattered showers and storms were, but you see they are dying down now. Okay. That's the local one right here. I get a real close up view of Jackson here. Okay. I take care of that one. Alright, let me go on to the next one, which is the Southern Regional uh, Summary Satellite. And, uh, well, oh, what the, I need to click on that one. Oh, oh Lord, I forgot to go out. <laughs> oh, my goodness, I sure did. Never mind. Uh, I can't do it now. I mess up my video. So I'll just uh, leave, it, leave it as it is. Uh, just have to go without looking at the region as a whole. We just have to settle for this one tonight. I'll be alright. No big deal. One more quick look and that be it. Alright. That's it for tonight, good friends. Uh, if I try to click it over, it'll probably mess up my video. So I'd rather just leave it be. Uh, we're, we're mainly concerned for around here anyways. Uh, at least most of us are. Well, alrighty, that's it for the night, folks. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you enjoy my Facebook Live reports and and my YouTube reports. I really appreciate YouTube as well, and all the comments I've received on it since I've been doing this. I enjoy doing it. It's, uh, it's a lovely uh, uh, hobby of mine, and I hope to continue to be able to do it for a while. All right, good night, everybody, and sweet dreams. And I hope to get a chance to talk to you again tomorrow evening via YouTube. Good night and God bless you.